Hey everyone, it's October 31st, and that means that if today's your birthday, you share with Argentinian serial killer Cayetano Santos Godino, known as Petiso Orejudo, which roughly translates to Big Eared Midget, who killed at least four victims in the early 1900s. And that is him right up there. Born on Halloween in 1896, Godino was the last of 10 children in a family of immigrants from the Calabrian region of Italy who moved to Buenos Aires to escape poverty. His father was an alcoholic and musician who contracted syphilis before the advent of antibiotics that could cure it. As a young child, Godino suffered from bouts of enteritis, an infection caused by eating or drinking contaminated food or water, or close contact with an infected person or animal. His father often beat him and the rest of the kids in drunken episodes, so it's no wonder that he was a poor student who was expelled from six different schools for displaying a lack of effort in applying himself. He grew up illiterate and showed violent urges at a young age. When he was just eight, he shoved a two-year-old boy into a patch of thorny bushes, and were it not for a policeman walking by, he likely would have hurt the boy even more. A year later, he took an 18-month-old child into a remote area and beat him in the head with a rock. A policeman heard the cries, but broke it up as a fight between two children and let him go. At the age of 10, Godino attempted to strangle a young girl and, failing to kill her, buried her alive under a pile of garbage. She was never found, and no one in positions of authority paid attention to the problems of immigrants at that time, and her family ultimately just moved back to Italy. He killed his family's pet canaries and left them in a shoebox beside his father's bed. After that incident, local authorities agreed to take charge of the boy, and he was out of the house for a few months. But when he returned, he'd reached an age of sexual maturity and would pleasure himself multiple times a day. Now 12 years old, he killed a two-year-old boy by drowning him in a horse trough. He claimed to have happened upon a woman who was drowning the child, and once again got away with it. Six days later, he burned the eyelids of an infant, and he was finally sent to a colony of smaller peace, which is roughly a juvenile hall, for three years. He suffered tremendous abuse in the facility and was released at age 15. Now obsessed with fire, Godino had developed a drinking problem, and he killed a 13-year-old child a year after his release. He then lit a girl's dress on fire in a store, and her grandfather was hit by a car and killed when running across the street to respond to her cries. The girl died two weeks later from her burns. After killing another boy and setting several buildings on fire, the police finally caught on that he was trouble, and in 1912, he was arrested after killing a young boy by hammering a nail into the child's head. While in jail, he attempted to kill several other inmates and was declared insane, being sent to the Ushuaia Penitentiary for the four murders, seven attempted murders, and several arsons that he confessed to committing. He was there until 1944 when Godino died under strange circumstances that seemed to indicate that he was killed by fellow inmates. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day. Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know someone whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to Cayetano Santos Godino, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.